Hi everyone, Faisal here from Solaris Kit. In this really quick video, I'm going to talk about how to heat a hot tub using solar energy. So lots of people are looking for ways to reduce their energy costs uh, to run their hot tub uh, and also looking for ways to make it a little bit more eco and environmentally friendly uh, to operate. Uh, and of course solar energy is a, a great way uh, of doing that, especially because what we're trying to do is heat up uh, a large volume uh, of water. Now there's a couple of options out there to heat a hot tub using solar energy. One really popular way on YouTube is to use what's called a solar photovoltaic panel. So that's where sunlight is converted directly into electricity and then using that electricity to power up the electric heating element uh, that's typically included with a hot tub. The other option to use solar energy uh, is to use what's called a solar thermal collector. Now that's where sunlight is converted directly into heat uh, and using that heat to heat the water directly. Now there's a couple of advantages of using a solar thermal uh, system. The main one being that a solar thermal collector is a much more uh, energy efficient process. So converting sunlight into heat is around three to four times more efficient than converting sunlight directly into electricity. Uh, and so that basically means you can get away with less solar collectors, less space, uh, a much easier system uh, to, to install. So in this video, I'm going to talk really quickly about a solar heating system uh, using our solar collectors. So with a solar heating system for a hot tub, uh, you've got several key bits. So the first bit is uh, the solar thermal collectors, which is what's turning sunlight uh, into heat. Then you've got the pump, which is circulating the water from the hot tub through the solar thermal collectors. Uh, and finally, you've got the controller, which is basically automating um, that whole process and switching the pump on and off uh, at the right times. Uh, and then also you've just got a little bit of piping and fittings uh, to connect everything up. So in this video, I'm gonna quickly show you um, uh, one of those systems. So the first component that I mentioned was the solar thermal collectors. Now there's a couple of different options out there. There's the flat plate collector, the evacuated tube collector. These are collectors that have been around for uh, a really long time, but they're really made for heating water for uh, bathing, cleaning uh, applications. So they heat water to a much higher temperature than what you typically need in a hot tub, which is around 38 degrees Celsius. Uh, the other option is to use you know, a dome solar thermal collector, which is pretty popular with swimming pools. Uh, the problem with those is they don't really get to um, a high enough temperature. Uh, the other alternative is to, of course, use um, uh, our solar collectors. So um, at Solaris Kit, we've developed uh, a new prismatic shaped solar collector, uh, which you can see here. Uh, and so they're actually shipped um, out to you as a flat packed kit. So the idea is you assemble uh, the systems in around 30 minutes without uh, any tools. Uh, each solar collector doesn't take up a huge amount of space. So uh, it's about 54 centimeters uh, by 54 centimeters uh, across. Uh, and the collectors are only about half a meter uh, in height uh, as well. So they're, they're pretty compact. Now, what the solar, these solar collectors are doing is basically absorbing sunlight. So the coil that you see inside the prism is basically what's absorbing sunlight and becoming really hot. So those coils can get up to about 80 degrees Celsius. And then it's really simple. What we do is we just circulate uh, water from the hot tub through the solar collector uh, and we just heat the water uh, as it travels through the solar collector. Now, with the prism-shaped solar collectors that we've got here, um, the nice thing about them is they don't take up a huge amount of space. So um, I told you the dimensions. So each solar collector is about 0.3 square meters uh, in footprint. Because of the prism shape, you can actually just have them uh, on the ground near the, uh, the hot tub, like uh, these ones here, which is used for a different uh, system, or they could be mounted on a, a roof. Uh, ideally, we want the solar collectors to be about 10 meters, uh, maybe 15 meters away from uh, the, the hot tub. Now I've got four solar collectors connected to heat up uh, my uh, inflatable hot tub. So it's about a four person uh, hot tub. And we find, you know, as a general rule of thumb, uh, if you've got a four person hot tub, go for four solar collectors. If you've got a six collector, uh, six person hot tub, go for, for six collectors. The way they're connected uh, is pretty simple. Basically, we've got four solar collectors daisy-chained together. So basically what happens is water from the hot tub 
goes to the first solar collector, gets heated up a little, then goes to the second collector, gets heated up further, goes to the third collector, gets heated up further again, and finally it goes to the fourth and final collector, gets heated up um, a little bit more, and then the water is then pumped back uh, to the hot tub. So basically you've got this process, uh, this loop, where water is going from the hot tub to the first collector through all the solar collectors, and then finally just going back. So the piping is actually uh, really, really simple. Now, of course, to make all of that happen, uh, you need uh, a pump to circulate the water from the hot tub through the solar collectors. Uh, there's a couple of options out there, but we use a, a really small 12 volt DC pump, uh, which consumes uh, about 13 watts uh, of energy. And because it's 12 volts DC, it's uh, really safe uh, as well, because it's low voltage, which is what you want when you've got water uh, kicking about. So um, that's what we include with our um, hot tub heating solution. Um, but a, a key part of all of this just to make the hot tub experience uh, really quite simple, is a controller. Now the purpose of the controller is to measure the temperature of the hot tub and the solar collectors, uh, and based off those temperatures, work out whether or not you should switch the pump on and off, because you don't really want that setup where you're kind of running out because the clouds have gone, switching the pump on, getting that heat, uh, and then forgetting about switching it off when the clouds are gone or it's become nighttime. Uh, and so the whole purpose of the controller is just to automate all of that by monitoring those two temperatures. Now what we've done is we've um, created this uh, really simple little uh, 12 volt uh, pump controller uh, in an IP rated uh, enclosure. So uh, the enclosure is actually IP67 uh, rated, so it can be installed outside as we've got it here, or it can be just be mounted uh, on a wall inside um, the, a building somewhere. Now what it's doing is it's got two temperature sensors. That's what these two cables are for. So one's measuring uh, the hot tub temperature, the, others, the other temperature sensor is measuring uh, one of the soil collector temperatures, so there's a, a little sensor that's clipped onto the pipe inside the soil collector. And then we've got uh, a cable going to uh, the pump, which is what we're switching on and off. And then we've got another cable, which is just our power supply. Um, as I mentioned, it's a, just a 12 volt power supply running the, the whole system. So the whole system runs off 12 volts uh, and consumes about 15 watts uh, in total, which is like running uh, a light bulb. So a really simple system uh, and really energy efficient uh, to, to run. Now we've actually found that with uh, those solar collectors, we can heat a hot tub all the way to 37, 38 degrees Celsius. Uh, but of course you need uh, sunlight to do that. The other option is you use solar collectors to heat up the hot tub as much as possible because uh, any heat that you get from solar collectors is going to save you money, it's going to lower those greenhouse gas emissions and then you can just top it up with a backup heat source. So as you can see, uh, a solar heating system for a hot tub is really quite doable uh, and it can all be done uh, yourself. It can be a complete DIY. Uh, installation. And so our HT100 kit, which you can purchase from our online store on slariskit.com, uh, basically provides everything that you need uh, to heat up a hot tub using solar energy, uh, and you can install it all uh, yourself, which is pretty cool. So hopefully this video has been useful. If you've got any comments or questions, please add them to uh, the video below or jump on our website and send us an email. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. But hopefully it's been useful and I'll see you at the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.